Hello there, good people of YouTube. Welcome to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we're talking about a sole proprietorship. We'll go over what it is and advantages and disadvantages to this type of business. Now, I'm also going to have two other videos for a corporation and a partnership. So make sure you check those out so you understand all the different types of business. Now, let's figure out exactly what a sole proprietorship is. Now, while watching the video, make sure to use your guided notes. You can find them in the description below. I made the guided notes to go along with the videos. They'll help you remember all of the important information. Also, if you need help with the other types of businesses, make sure to check out my other videos, both on corporations and also partnerships. Now, let's figure out what's going on with sole proprietorships. Throughout our class, we're gonna be learning about corporations, partnerships, and sole proprietorships. Now, out of all those three different types of businesses, the most common business in the United States it's a sole proprietorship. In fact, you'll hear a sole proprietorship get referenced all the time on the media, especially from our politicians. You'll always hear, small business is the backbone of America. Small business is what makes America great. Small business, small business. You'll hear him say it over and over again. And a small business is a sole proprietorship. A small business or sole proprietorship is where we have one person funding all the capital. They're the manager. They're running it. A sole proprietorship is very easy to start. Most of the time, it doesn't require any extra fees, minus what you have to pay for resources and capital to get it off the ground. Now, depending on what you're doing, you might have to pay some licensing or other fees, and it also depends on where you're operating. But a sole proprietorship, that could be out of your garage, it could be on the internet, it could be in your backyard, in a warehouse, in an office, you could have it wherever you want it. And it's relatively easy to start. Most of the time, you just have to come up with an idea and then start doing it. So we now know what a sole proprietorship is. What I want you to do now is pause this video and try to think about what some examples would be. If you can connect this concept to real life examples, it'll be easier for you to remember. So pause this video, go to your guided notes, and now figure out exactly what you think this would take form of in the United States, in real life. Once you're done, unpause the video and we'll go over some examples I came up with. And who knows, maybe we'll have some that are the same. So hopefully you came up with some good examples. Here's some of the ones that I came up with. It could be a sole proprietorship is a lemonade stand that you're just starting as a kid and eventually maybe you're going to try to scale it. Or a mom and pop restaurant. Or when you're walking people's dogs or babysitting. Or a lawnmower company where you're going around and cutting people's grass. It could be your own YouTube channel. Or even just a hot dog stand in New York City. All these different things would be a sole proprietorship. You're funding it, you're running it, you're in charge of everything. There isn't a lot of startup fees and you can start doing it relatively easy. Now, some of these examples would take more time. However, you could do it. There isn't a big complicated process for most of them. Let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of a sole proprietorship. Now, we're gonna start with the advantages. A big advantage is that it's really easy to start. You don't have to go through too many legal hoops to be able to create your business. You can just start it right away. You also, since you're the one creating it, probably have a good idea of how you wanna make money. And because you're the only one in the business, at least originally, and maybe you'll hire people eventually, you get to make all the decisions. You don't have to go through all these different hoops or it's not this big process of trying to convince people what you should do. You're the boss. Another advantage. You are in charge. You get to be your own boss. And it's also really easy to get out. If let's say things aren't going well, you can just remove yourself from the business. You could decide to close up shop. Maybe just stop selling whatever you're doing, pay your debts, and you're done. Another big advantage too is you don't have to pay a separate business tax. And that's because legally sole proprietorships are not seen as their own identity. And we'll get into that with more incorporations at a different time. But the nice thing there is you just pay income tax. You don't have to file separately or do anything different. So that's another big advantage. So it's easy to start. You get to be your own boss. You get to go through your own process. You don't have to worry about going through other people. And at the same time too, taxes are simpler. And if you ever need to get out, you can get out when you want to get out. Now there's also disadvantages that go along with having a sole proprietorship. And one of those is unlimited liability. As the owner of a sole proprietor, you are in charge of everything. This means that you have to pay back all debts. If your business goes broke and they owe a bunch of money, well then you have to cover that. And the bank could go after your assets. Unlike a corporation where they are protected as kind of a legal entity and that's a separate thing. And again, watch that video if you need more information on that. But for a sole proprietor, you're in charge of everything. Whatever happens, you have to take care of. And if you do go bankrupt, you will be paying that bill. 
Now, other things too that are a big disadvantage is it can be really hard to get financial capital. A lot of banks and big lenders might not trust you because you don't have experience and you're so small. And with that too makes it hard to find good talent because you can't offer as many competitive wages or benefits like bigger companies could. And you also will probably make more mistakes. That's just because normally sole proprietors have less management experience and just less experience in general. As you're going on your own, you kind of have to learn the hard way. So that can be frustrating for owners. The other thing too is a sole proprietorship has a limited life. Unlike some companies which can continue on, most sole proprietorships will die after their owner dies or quits or gives up the business. They don't continue on, so they're over. So if you're looking at leaving like a legacy company, this wouldn't be the way to do it. So as you can see, sole proprietorships are easy to start. You get to be your own boss, but they also come with unlimited liability and financial strains. So there's good and bad to them. This again is the most common form of business in the United States today, and that's just because of how easy it is to start and get out of. Hopefully you have a good understanding now of what a sole proprietorship is, what some examples are, and advantages and disadvantages to that sole proprietorship. Make sure you check out the videos on the other types of business as well. Now, until next time, I'll see you online. Thank you for watching the video. I'm Mr. Sin. Make sure you subscribe and have a great day.